Hi guys, I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month. Um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99, uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care. Hi, Aquarius. It's L here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking sharing commenting and subscribing to the channel it means a lot please continue to do so all links are below if you need to get in contact with me let's get into it let's see um thank you god for blessing the aquarius with a clear concise message from you all right what is happening for the aquarius today june 22nd daily read for Aquarius the higher fence some of you need to study 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 you know you need to gain some knowledge about uh, initiation can an, be an initiative you, you know you're not in a place of learning higher learning also this could be at a you know of course uh, school it could be at a business it could be anything it could be corporate learning some of you could be in a corporate setting going through some training getting some guidance about okay um, but you need to pick up a book you need to learn you need to do something you need to uh, be ready to guide others it also talks about the hierophant being a guide to others but you can't do that if you don't have the knowledge you know so have that have the knowledge base there um some of you are trying to get things in order law order regimen routine so like some of you have been off of that like you've been off your routine off your regimen so you're trying to get things back in order let's see what else what do we have what else what else yeah the knight of wands some of you uh could be getting ready to um go into something maybe even travel into something take some risky or calculated risk here opportunity is going to open up for you and it's going to be time for you to make a move some of you this could be entrepreneurship yeah you could be re getting ready to be an entrepreneur this could even be getting ready to travel you got some guidance about maybe travel some of you this could even be uh, getting back on a maybe a workout regimen or routine like you go to go to the gym you know on these days and do this type of routine when you get in there let's see what else yeah the ten of wands definitely could even be working out moving or making a move you're getting um corporate guidance about moving or making a move a lot is going on you have a lot to do delegate uh, it's a lot on your shoulders um some of you could be cracking under the the weight of your own success the lord of oppression um some of you are just showing up to a job or something like that not knowing where it's going not knowing what you're going to get from day to day it says do not give up you're on some of you on the brink of something big it may be a big burden to carry right now in terms of trying to get it all together get it all detailed and lined up definitely if it's entrepreneurship because it's like okay i'm trying to do all this i gotta get this type of work i gotta get this and do that you know and it could feel like it's overwhelming but it says do not give up because on the other side of this is the page of wands hopefully you'll come out renewed you'll be able to live life on your own terms there'll be success excitement um promotion you know so um continue doing what you're doing it's not in vain here some of you could be in some type of karmic relationship it does have a spiritual connection or base here but it could be karmic there's a person that you're dealing with they're kind of flighty in and out off and on hot cold 
up, down. You don't know what you're going to get with this person. When it seems as if it's going steady, here is the roller, co the roller coaster. Like, it's just it's a mess. All right, let's see what else do we have for Aquarius today. Six of Swords. Some of you definitely preparing to make a move, move, travel, vacation. Okay, yeah, I see the sun. Some of you could be going somewhere where it's sunny. Okay. Um, but even in preparing to move on, it's like something's keep holding you back. You know, five of swords, like somebody's trying to take you back to a place of reversal of, um, not making something happen for yourself. There could be extreme jealousy also that you're, you're moving on or you're moving you get a lot of moving cards and travel. It could be extreme jealousy, negativity. Um, what else is this? Extreme jealousy, negativity, someone wanting you to be bound to them or never thought that you would do it or, or get through this or get what is owed to you. Somebody's getting their negative karma for causing interference in your life and in your destiny. Oh, if these people were trying to bind you or, or I heard spell bonds, like spell bound or spell binding, or if these people were trying to do something to take you off course, they're getting negative karma, karma negative. They're in the dark. They're bound now. They got everything that they prayed, hope, and wish was for you. They got it. Yeah, the wheel turned on them. Their fortune is, you know, not so great. Some of you could be getting, yeah, their fortune is not so great. So somebody gets what is due unto them, karmically due to them, negativity being bound in the dark, debt in debt, and their fortune has changed. And now you're in the sun though, you're in the sun position, you're in a happy position. You may be watching somebody get their negative karma, right? You may even be kind of in a relationship or trying to still maintain a relationship with somebody who's getting all that is due to them. See what they have not been done, what they have not done over the course of their life or over a certain amount of time has been a good person, tried to do the right thing, right? And now um, you're seeing that they're getting all that they they sow in the past, they're getting it all back, all that they, they've uh, sown, they're getting it back, they're reaping it. And you're close to it. It's like you're seeing it. Some of you are a part of this person's life. Some of you are not. Some of you are hearing about it from, you know, word of mouth. Yeah, King of Pentacles. It could have been somebody who was on top. Their money was good. Now it is not. Things are, you know, slowly falling apart, dwindling. You could have Queen of Swords cut this person out of your life. This was a person who was very materialistic. All that glitter was gold to this person. You have five of pentacles, but you shut them out and you're also seeing them. Some of you did. So when they were doing negative spell on you and you were just reversing it, that's all you were doing. And then these people got what they deserved. They got the negative karma. They got everything that they wanted to happen to you, for you. They got it. Front center stage. It went right back to them. Ten of Cups, this could be somebody in your family or someone who smiled in your face, but all the time they want to take your place. They were a backstabber and they also um, were just doing very horrible things to you behind your back. You weren't, you, you felt eventually the vibration that somebody was doing something. You initially woke up to it, but in the beginning, 
excuse me, eventually you woke up to it, but initially you didn't know what was going on. You just felt like, damn, you know, one thing after another, not knowing that this was someone, you know, throwing very negative energy your way. And somebody could just be very upset that you're moving or you're leaving. They're going to be heartbroken. They're going to be, you know, a little upset, maybe even jealous. Yeah. Star card. These people, it's like a love-hate relationship with you or this person. It's like they look up to you, but also they hate you or they don't like you or they want you to fall. What else do we have here? They don't like the fact that you can manifest or you're able to attract what you want into your life quick. I was about to say that too. Like you get what you want quickly. These people don't like this. They're like, well, how is that happening for this person? So, okay, somebody could be on their deathbed, still trying to throw magic or still trying to just curse your name or someone could be final chance, final time or final, someone's trying to do something for the final time. They're trying to, you know, upset your life. Or change your course or your destiny. Someone could be sick. Yeah, someone could be sick. They're still gossiping, talking about you. Just, they can't let it go. This person is trying to heal their bad fortune they're trying to get the money back or get something back because everything that they wanted you everything that they wanted to happen to you some of you are, you pray you you're meditating you're putting out and affirming to the universe and you're having significant transformation and you're going to have some long-term goal fulfillment you got some big opportunity coming your way for wealth right these people keep watching and waiting and trying to pounce and make plans. Just like they're putting something out and they're wondering if it's reaching you. This could even just be negative talk about you, like getting in circles and of other people. And, you know, the first thing they talk about that is negative is you. Some of you could be pregnant. You're wondering if something's going to happen. This is like wondering if you're going to have a successful pregnancy. This is starting a new business. Also, we have that. And um, it could be, if you do your research and you, you put it all together right, it could be extremely successful. Let's see. This reading was kind of all over the place, but yeah, message coming to you. This is good news. Seven days, seven weeks, but it says days. So a message coming to you in seven days um good news is what you want to hear it could be about anything can we get a clarifying card maybe from a mature woman uh, something about a contract maybe with the six up uh, with the six coming out something that brings balance i think maybe things was kind of upset or kind of topsy-turvy or it was kind of top heavy whatever it is i know it brings some money or sudden wealth or you get what you want main male here also could be seeing one 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 this is a this is big news this main male could be attached to this attached to the news attached to the good news he could be giving the good news but we had the main female come out this is something about 
especially if some of you are business owners, you got occupation showing up. Okay, so some of you could be starting your own business. This person could give you help in business or help you or want to help you or um, give you a leg up or give you money or something of that nature. Give give you a comfortable life so that you can start your own business. Okay, I, I just heard it and I said it. Um, okay. I mean, I know it's something out of a fairy tale, but maybe it could happen for some of you. Um, the lovers, yeah, it felt like you're getting love and business and love and money. on the floor yeah it's like maybe some relationship that was hard work or you you did a lot to manifest this but now you're going to be like highly respected honored or someone's going to go public or want to be public with you They were being petty and pesky at first, or this was somebody who had to finish something up. There was some little pesky. Pe <music> petty details of their life. They needed to get that in order and then they can come to you and give you the high honor, the achievement, you know, um, the public recognition. Maybe, you know, telling the world that you're their girlfriend or boyfriend. Oh, wow. So let's say the courtship comes out. Yeah. If somebody's dating you exclusively, they this is what you guys are doing. What else? I knew it was coming out that they want to marry you. Some of you could be getting business, marriage, all together. Like, boom. Like, your life just comes together. What do we want to close this out with? okay the butterfly oracle what else what do we have to tell the aquarius some of you like some of you like a manifesting like machines like you get what you want you've been because you've done some work what you have put out you you worked off the karmic debt if there was any in this lifetime for you which it probably was um there's also somebody here getting what is due to them. And now it's like you're able to manifest rapidly. Self-employment coming up. Can't make it up. Some of you, your business is going to be wildly successful. If you do this right, you got a lot of cards of expertise and learning. Your body changes. So this could be... Some of you getting a makeover, actually getting cosme cosme uh, cosmetic uh, work done. Let me see what else. Some of you could be changing your mind. You got new information and you're changing your mind. You're changing the idea of what you're going to present. Memories keep you stuck or someone else stuck. Let's see. Retirement. Some of you are actually retiring. Or you're going from one career to the next or one position to the next. Or some of you are going to go from full-time work to part-time work. Motivation. Leaving. Some of you are leaving toxicity behind or you already left it. There's a big windfall for some of you. Relationship dynamics. Now somebody feels differently. The end of an era here. Somebody's thinking clear or sober now sobriety somebody's getting some heavenly signs that they need to make a decision now and let something new develop between the two of you or you in your life you need to take the next step now someone it's like somebody's being prompted to have courage to do this especially if it's like you know marriage or something of that nature Some of you could be getting married. Do you have a sun card? What is this about? Last, okay. What is this about? Courage to take the next step now. Let something new develop. What is this about? I, yeah, I knew it. It just kept wanting to come out. Uh, reconcile. 
Maybe someone is now seeing that they need a healthy relationship or they want to be healthy with you. They don't want to have the toxicity. We did have leaving. So someone's leaving the toxicity behind. Could be you, could be the other person, could be the both of you. Someone's going to be loud out front. We had that high honor, maybe telling everybody that this is, this is my person. Somebody does need to finish something up before they can come to you. Divorce or divorcing. They haven't healed yet. This came out. Okay. So take it in reverse. Fear in reverse. Somebody's needed with courage coming out. Someone needs to come out of fear. You know, um, extreme fear of new. Of being in a long-term relationship. Legacy. Somebody's bored with the whole karmic side chick type of lifestyle. Because these people are immature. And they understand these people act just like them. They hurt people. And they hurt people. They're just dealing with people who are low vibrational. Somebody wants something different. Your person could be seeing that. You know, dealing with the side chicks and the karmics and all of that stuff. It's just, it just is not, um, it doesn't fulfill them anymore. Someone was definitely doing some black magic or some bad magic. We talked about that. But it looks like they're getting what's due to them. Yeah, somebody wants to make good on the promises that they made to you. They want to finish what they started. In the past, they may have been an outright liar. Could be a masculine energy. Business. Business will be booming. That's what I'm saying. You will get a relationship and business. The house sometimes can be synonymous for relationship. Something's coming in quick, y'all. Um, somebody's holding back their true emotion. Someone could be a beard also. Or trying to keep someone as a beard. Yeah, they're likable, so keeping them as a beard. They're hiding several, maybe, you know, secret affairs, same-sex affairs. March could be significant or was significant for the relationship. Somebody thinks that they're just so sexy and so handsome and that they can do anything. What do you want to tell the Aquarius to close this reading out? Some masculine energy, some strong man, they, they, their words come off strong, but they'll say anything. They want you to know that, okay? Keep that in mind. What else? They want you to know that um, the, this person dumped you. Now they want you back. They want you to make a quick decision on them. Wow, they stuck on you now. I am stuck on... Okay. I stare at your pictures for hours. I'm obsessed because you're you're so sweet. And for some of you, they see you as resourceful. And there's love there. Um, they want to be honest now. I think somebody got all of the stuff that they have been putting out before in life with other people, playing people, playing games, playing with you. You know, they're in love. They didn't think that it would happen, but they are obsessed with you now now they want to give you something real they may have dumped you ghosted you played games told lies um said anything to you now there might be a change of mind we did have change mind coming out could be you could be the other person but it looks like um aquarius you're getting a lot a big big thing all at the same time two three big things i don't know let me know what they are down in the comment section what are you praying for it you know what are you manifesting and let's manifest together corporately let's make it come in let's make it rain okay uh this is what i have for you aquarius if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section go over to the website and book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting the question to the number below you can also donate to the channel
by clicking the buy ella coffee link you can catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time thank you many blessings to you take care